Hey guys, it's Sean here and you are watching my vlog and today's video is about public transport. There was a post on Facebook the other day asking the question, what annoys you most about public transport? There are quite a few things that annoy me about public transport and these are some of the comments that were posted late or early arrivals. Rude drivers? BOs is a big problem. One that really, really bugs me is men who have their legs spread wide open and there's a seat next to them so you go and sit and you get cramped. It's like, dude, your balls aren't that big. No one's, no. Shut your legs. Shut your legs. No one ain't wanting that. Now there were also quite a few posts on there that really got to me. There were quite a few people were writing foul mouthed children. Love, those foul mouthed children were raised by you and your kids. So clearly something went wrong while you were raising them, okay? Well, your oldies are saying the kids don't have any respect for the elderly. Well, how about you teach them respect to begin with? Then they will show you some respect. What, the younger generation just don't have any respect anymore. They don't give up their seats for, the, for pregnant women, for the elderly or the injured. Um, I wonder why. You don't discipline them. People who think that men should get up and give up their seats for women. Just women in general. Um, the amount of times that myself or any of my male friends have given up our seats and we get a slap in the face or get given a death stare because the female thinks that they're helpless. Or how about the whole feminist movement when you've got all these strong independent women who want equality? Well love, we're giving you equality. We're not giving you our seats because we're a person too. Okay, so don't complain because there's a lot of you out there who do complain when we even open the door, when we pull the chair up, we're trying to be nice. It ain't happening. Another one that got me on this post was the amount of racism that there is. Um, specifically, people were Asians and black people. One, two, three people or the experiences that you've had with these races on public transport is not representative of that race. Okay, people talking loudly on their phone. Um, if I've got a call coming through. I'm not going to ignore it, especially if it's coming from my boss, I'm going to answer it. And loudness is a perspective thing, okay? If the whole bus is quiet, then of course one person talking on their phone is going to sound loud. But if there were a few people talking on the bus, or if the whole bus was talking, then one person on their phone wouldn't be loud, now would it? Okay, so when did someone put a sign saying no talking on mobile phones, on a bus, or on a train? At the moment, the only place that is quiet on public transport is the silent carriages on trial and trains at the moment, not buses. So, unless you're on one of these quiet carriages, yes, then you should be quiet. But if you're on a bus or a tram or on a train, uh, I don't think you have to be quiet. So, go take your piece of mood and put it somewhere else. Because, again, it's public transport. You can't tell me what to do unless the bus or transport authorities tell me that I have to be quiet. In which case, they don't because it's not a rule. So shut it. As you can see, I clearly have some issues with people in public transport trying to control a public space when it's not theirs to control. Especially with the talking on the phone thing. That really gets me because I need to make calls. <sighs> Ran over. Anyway, if you think there are some things that I've missed out or the posts I've missed out and you think that shouldn't be done on public transport or things that you don't personally like on public transport, leave them down in the comment box below because I'd actually like to know. Or if you have a differing opinion from mine, I'd really like to know too. It's not that I want to get into an argument with you, but I'd like to see another person point of view. I did speak to my housemate about it and she personally will ignore the call until she gets off the bus. Um, for me, I don't think that. I can't do that. I have the ability to answer the call at the time, so I'm But for her, it's not rude for her, and that's how she does it, and I respect that. And I'll respect your opinion, so that's why I like to get a dialogue going. That's what the comment box is below for. Anyway, hit the like button if you like this, hit the dislike button if you dislike this, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you will dislike this. I will see you in the next video.